Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Lions DE Aiden Hutchinson's sister shares message about his injury. The Detroit Lions towered over the Dallas Cowboys on the road on Sunday, October 13, winning 47-9, but the win was overshadowed by a leg injury sustained by Lions edge Aiden Hutchinson. The injury was so horrifying that the Fox broadcast didn't even show a replay of it. Now, Hutchinson's sister, Mia Hutchinson, has sent out a message to Lions fans after her brother suffered the difficult injury. Mia's message was simple but strong, please pray for Aiden. She posted the message on October 13 along with a photo of her with him on her Instagram story. Also on her Instagram story, she posted a video clip of Campbell in a press conference after the game talking about Hutchinson's injury. In the post-game press conference, Campbell, of course, was asked about Hutchinson and his condition. Campbell said the edge immediately underwent surgery for a broken tibia. Hate it for Hutch. That's tough, Campbell said. He added, it was tough. He's in good hands right now. He's being taken care of. He'll stay back here, and obviously he's going to be down a little while, so that's tough, and it's hard when you lose somebody like him. We'll know a lot more after this and obviously wish him the best. Against the Cowboys, Hutchinson made three tackles, a sack and three quarterback hits before the injury. He has 7.5 sacks this season. While the Hutchinson injury put a major damper on the Lions' victory, NFL analysts and experts are commenting on Detroit's strong showing. Dallas looked far from contending for anything of consequence, but the main takeaway from Sunday might be how good the Lions can be, Frank Schwab of Yahoo Sports said in an October 13 article about the win. Detroit looked better in every way Sunday, he added. It's fine to project that onto the Cowboys, who have played three times at home and have been blown out each time. Then, Schwab even went so far as to say, but the Lions look like one of the best teams in the NFL. In a post-game feature for USA Today's For the Win, NFL writer Robert Zaglinski says that Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, who was celebrating his 82nd birthday at the game, received the worst possible birthday present, confirmation of an awful, non-contending Cowboys team. He added, kudos to Jerry Jones on his birthday. He poured hundreds of millions of dollars into a woeful Cowboys team that hasn't been truly relevant as a championship contender in decades. It's almost like he gave himself an awful gift. Regarding the Hutchinson injury, Cameron Ellis of Lombardi Avenue stated in a post-game feature, at the risk of being a prisoner of the moment, there isn't a non-quarterback injury more impactful than Hutchinson's. The Minnesota Vikings may be 5-0, but the Lions are still the defending division champs and have pretty consistently looked like the team that was a few plays away from the Super Bowl last year. He also stated, the Lions are good enough to survive one or two major injuries, but the Hutchinson one is the worst-case scenario. What looked like an entertaining division title race just had its first real twist. Sorry, Lions fans. Calls mount for Super Bowl champ coach to get fired after embarrassing loss. The Dallas Cowboys' 47-9 blowout loss to the Detroit Lions has fans and media members alike calling for the franchise to move on from head coach Mike McCarthy. Dallas is now 3-3 for the season but already has two blowout defeats through the first six games. The Cowboys also lost 44-19 to the New Orleans Saints in Week 2. McCarthy is in the final year of his current contract. It may seem unlikely that Dallas would make a midseason change, but the Cowboys are heading into a bye week. Yet, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones attempted to squash this notion in his post-game comments following the team's loss to the Lions. Pro Football Network Sterling Sia has McCarthy firmly on the hot seat heading into the team's bye in Week 7. The Cowboys have a bye in Week 7, making this a prime opportunity for a change, Sia wrote in an October 13, 2024, story titled, Will the Cowboys Fire Mike McCarthy? Dallas head coach on the hot seat after no-show in Week 6. 
Week 8 brings a road game against the San Francisco 49ers, who have beaten the Cowboys in three straight games by an average of 15.0 ppg, including playoff games after the 2021 and 22 seasons. Facing that bleak outlook, it wouldn't be a shock to see the Cowboys opt for a drastic change in order to try and jolt their season. With Dak Prescott owning one of the more secure quarterback jobs in the league, that leaves McCarthy as one of the only viable scapegoat options. One name that continues to be floated as a potential replacement candidate for Dallas is former New England Patriots head coach Bill Belichick. The legendary coach is spending the NFL season doing media breakdowns of the league. How soon after the Cowboys' latest humiliating loss at home will Jerry Jones call Bill Belichick? NFL analyst Gary Myers pondered in an October 13 message on X. Former Fox Sports host Skip Bayless is among those calling for McCarthy's job. Bayless cited the Cowboys' playoff loss to the Green Bay Packers in January as another reason McCarthy should no longer be on the sideline. Bill Belichick to Cowboys rumors heat up after another Dallas loss. The Dallas Cowboys just suffered another embarrassing home loss on Sunday, this time at the hands of the Detroit Lions. The nature of the loss has put Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy squarely back on the hot seat, a position he's gotten used to recently. And while Cowboys owner Jerry Jones reassured the media after Sunday's loss that he remains behind the embattled head coach, that hasn't stopped reports from circulating that link former New England Patriots head coach in current sports media multi-hyphenate Bill Belichick to the job. Fox Sports NFL insider Jordan Schultz took to social media Sunday evening to speculate that Belichick could be a front-runner for the Cowboys' position if they opt to make a change this offseason. The insider cited multiple sources that claim Belichick has a really great relationship with the Jones family. Now, having a strong relationship with the owner doesn't necessarily mean they'd want to hire you to coach their team. But it also doesn't hurt. For his part, Belichick would have to give up his newfound media obsession in order to get back into coaching. The six-time Super Bowl-winning head coach has committed himself to numerous TV gigs this season, including with Inside the NFL, The Pat McAfee Show, and The Manning Cast. While Belichick hasn't been shy about putting himself in front of the camera this season, he remains just 15 wins away from the NFL's all-time wins record for a head coach, which has to be a pretty strong incentive for him to get back into coaching. Schultz's report suggested that Belichick may be a name to watch for next season, but some Cowboys faithful are clamoring for a change now. Skip Bayless took to social media Sunday to ask, how in the name of Thomas Wade Landry does Mike McCarthy still have a job? It wouldn't be the first time Jones would fire a coach midseason. During the 2010 season, Jones fired head coach Wade Phillips after a 1-7 start and installed interim coach Jason Garrett, who would coach the team through 2019. A 1-7 start is a much different circumstance than 3-3, but the fact that a legendary coach like Belichick is seemingly waiting right there in the wings gives the conversation a different tenor. By the sounds of things, Jones seems quite far away from breaking the emergency glass as it stands, though a few more performances like Sunday's could certainly raise the temperature of this conversation. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Bill Belichick? Leave your opinion in the comments.